I'm Maddie. And I'm Kimmy. And today on Maddie and Kimmy's Groovy Things, we are going to make unpaper towels. Oh, I love it. So, if What is an unpaper towel? It, it's basically for those of us who hate using all those rolls and rolls of paper towels. And you can buy these really groovy fabrics on these. And we've put snaps oh. and we've got little bumblebees on them. Yeah, we do. And terry cloth. And the last set that I made for myself was over three years ago, and they're still in really good shape. Awesome. And because you put the flannel and the terry cloth, they're nice and absorbent, they're good for polishing, and the plastic snaps don't cra scratch. So, I'm like going to show you how to make them. Yay! Okay, so here we have some already pre-cut pieces. But what we're going to do is we're just going to show you quickly how we do this. I have uh, the cutting board here, and we've measured out 10 by 9. You can make them 10 by 10. You can make them 12 by 12, whatever size you want. But the 10 by 9 seems to fit nicely on a paper towel holder. And um, you're going to go ahead and cut those out. I cut them double layer at a time to make it go quicker. And... You can, everything's about being fast. Everything's about being fast, fast, fast. <laughs> and the other thing is, is you can make them in a set of 12, a set of eight, even, or, or more. But um, we are going to make a set of eight because out of one yard of fabric, you get basically uh, 16 on paper towels. I love okay. it. So we're going to just keep cutting and we'll see you at the sewing machine. I have my squares cut. Picked this little groovy pattern and I used an old bath towel, Terry, that I'm going to sew together. And put the right, right sides together. There's right sides together with the Terry, I guess it doesn't matter, but the pattern's going to have facing the Terry. And then I'm going to stitch it up. I'm going to leave how big of a hole, Kimmy? Um, you're going to leave enough just so that you can turn it right side out. Yeah. So I'm going to turn it. Now I have that little hole so I can turn it right side. Yeah. Right, so that I have a little hole so that I can turn it right side out. Just zippity doo dah. See? And then I'm going to iron them flat. Right, Kimmy? Mm -hmm. That'll make it easier for the top stitch. So we're just going to iron them flat so that the top stitching goes a lot neater and fold our raw edge under. 